Now let's talk about transform. Let's talk about transform. So I'm not changing much from what I did the last time. Okay. So for transform, um, transform basically. Let's start with one transform property so that we will get into what transform is all is all about. Um, so it just shows how we can rotate an element, scale an element, move an element, or skew an element. That's essentially what transforming is all about. And to start with, so we have this D. This is the D we're going to change. Let's uh, let we could remove this box shadow. We don't need any longer. Okay. So now let's apply transform to it. So you can see there are different transform properties you could, or styling you could add to it. And then we'll say, let's start with rotate. Rotate is kind of easy. So you say rotate. So I'm going to say rotate 20 degrees. And or let's just say 40 degrees. So if we Refresh, you can see it's rotated by 40 degrees. Now, that's so that's kind of straightforward. And the next thing we want to look at is scale. Let's say scale. So, scale. Um, let me remove this. Scale. We'll say scale by two. Let's see. So, you can see it's, it's doubled. Its size, it's doubled its size. So if I say one point two, and I see it's bigger than what it is. Let's if we remove this, you guys would see. Yeah, so this is the normal size, but the higher the scale, the bigger it becomes. So if you say something like five, it can be so huge. So you can see it's so 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 huge. So that's for scale. And then another important one we use is translate. We use translate. So let's start with translate x. So you want to move it in the x axis. So let's say. 40 pixels. So you can see it's moving in the x axis. So that moved it 40 pixels. So if you say minus 40, it's moved to the opposite direction. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. You could do that too. So we say translate y. Refresh. Because it says coming down 40 pixels on the y axis. If you do minus two to go the opposite direction, if you don't want to use translate x and translate y, if you just say translate, then the best would be x, the x axis, and the second one would be the y axis. So we say, so let us say we wanted forty percent, forty pixels to the um, what they call to the right. So you can see it's forty pixels to the right. So of course, if you make this one zero. Yeah, goes back to its original position. So that's majorly for the transform property. That's so that's how you could decide to scale an element, make it bigger or make it smaller. So if, for example, if you make it um, let's say scale zero, for example, or to just disappear because you said it should be zero. Yeah. So that's just a way that we could transform our elements. We could transform our elements. Of course, there are other ones like matrix, matrix 3D, still 3D, but that's just beyond the scope of what we're trying to achieve with this particular crash course. And um, yeah, and we're not working with 3D anyway. Yeah. Okay, so that's for transform. Um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to transform your properties and work with this. Next, we are going to be 
talking about transition. So transition, I'm going to be talking about transition. Yeah. And I'm hoping you enjoy that too. Welcome to CSS Transition. Or transition. So CSS, well, yeah, CSS Transition, CSS Transition. Essentially, we want to be transitioning um, elements. Okay, so what's CSS Transition all about? Um, let me show you something first before I show you what, what so that it will better explain what I'm talking about. Uh, let's say, Let's just leave this transform alone, and then I go here, and for the same div, I say div, then on over, I say transform, and scale, I say one. Uh, no, okay, let's say, let's say it's one, and I say zero. Let's just see that. Okay, so if I refresh, if I hover over it, you can see it moves to zero, though it's glitchy. Let me make it 1.5 so that it doesn't glitch. So let's refresh. So see, it's uh huh. But you can see it's like it's just jumping from one state to the other. It's jumping from one state to the other. Maybe that's not what we want. Maybe we want it to be smooth. So that's where the concept of transition comes from. So transition essence um, essentially is saying oh how do we um how do we move how do we smoothly change the properties of an of a particular css property a particular css property so how do we smoothly do that so that it doesn't just jump from one one um, uh, css state to the other uh, like the way we just said yeah and that's so that's essentially what we're trying to achieve with CSS transition. The first transition um, to apply transition to a particular property, what we're going to do with is we're going to bring in some styling properties to this particular div. The first one I'm going to be bringing is the transition property, transition property. And what do I want to transform is the, what do I want to transition is the transform. So that's going to be transform. So I'm going to be transitioning this transform. The next thing I want to do is called transition, transition duration. That's going to be five seconds. And then there's going to be transition, transition timing function. I'm going to use ease in and then see. Now take a look at what would happen when I refresh. So if I refresh, see what happens. You can see it's slowly moving from the scale it was before to the scale it, it, that we uh, that we specify on hover. So that's what we mean by transition. It's not jumping like it was before. It's slowly transitioning from the scale it was before, from whatever it was before. Um, property uh, CSS property it was before to what you want it to be or what it is presently. So that's what it that's what we want to talk about, and or that's the essence of transition. So some things I want to point out is that this if you don't want to specify like a particular CSS property instead of writing each and every one of them out. Because you can have different things you want. Maybe you want to also leave. I want to also specify some other things. All you could decide to do is you could just say all oh, if you want. So this would apply it to any, any, any to all the CSS properties that it will apply to all of them. Okay. And another thing I would like to point out is that there's a shortcut for all these three that we've been writing since. So um, I'm going to just uh, put it here. So it's called transition. Um, that's just simply transition. So of course, we can see all five seconds. And see. So and if I refresh, it's going to do essentially the same thing. Yeah. Another thing I would like to point out is 
is um so let's make that very let's make it one second and see what happens so, uh, uh, if we if we want to do it faster you can say 0 0.5 so i can move and see so uh, okay. so another thing i would like to point out is the delay transition delay so let's say if I, you want to delay it before the transition starts let's say we say two seconds we'll see that if we refresh if i hope up right nothing happens then after two seconds it grows yeah nothing happens two seconds it's shrink. so that's the transition delay so if you want to delay there's also transition delay so yeah um that's about it with transition next we're going to talk about animations and um i think animation would be pretty much the last thing i'll be talking about um, uh -huh. so essentially that the last thing I'll be talking about before we call it a day. And yeah, seeing that 